Recent reports in China are saying that sales of electric cars may have hit 30% of all vehicle sales in December. Apparently, electric cars are going absolutely insane in the country and manufacturers just can't make enough. Is this even surprising? Hello, my friends. Welcome to The Electric Viking. My name is Sam Evans and I'm coming to you here from Melbourne, Australia. Thank you for subscribing. Great to see so many new subscribers on board on the channel. It's been more than 20,000 over the last month or so. And to all of you, everyone else who's been on board over this journey over the last, what, eight months since we started this channel, maybe seven or eight months. Thank you for supporting it. And I really, really appreciate your support. I know who you are. I see your comments and I appreciate them. The challenge here for me is that there's hundreds of comments, probably an average of about 600 to 700 comments per day now. So I just can't get to respond to them all, but I do read a lot of them and I really appreciate your thoughts and what you have to say. Now, one thing is affecting this. I'm going to have to admit to this. Subsidies in China will decrease for electric cars by around 30% next year. Now, that subsidy is not the manufacturer subsidy. That's the manu that's the purchase subsidy. So really, subsidies will probably go down by about 20% overall next year. But what that means is that electric car sales have increased every single month in China for about, I think, nine or 10 straight months by a big margin. I mean, you're looking at the start of the year, around about 5 to 6% of all the cars in China being sold were electric. But in November, it was around 20%, just under 20%. Reports are it could be as high as 30% in December. So one of the reasons for this is obviously that decrease in subsidies next year. But at the same time, this is getting more people to buy a car which they'll never turn back from. I mean, once you buy an electric car, studies show, you're extremely, extremely unlikely to go and purchase an ICE car after having owned a far superior product. It's like buying, let's say you went out and bought a Nokia phone that was powered by petrol. It'd be a heap of shit, basically. Petrol engines are so complicated. My BMW, honestly, it's not that good. Oh no, it's not. An electric car is way better. I've driven Teslas, they shit all over it. That's the truth. So once you've owned an electric car, you're not that likely to go back. And if 30% of the market buy an electric car, then you've, that means that there's a very large percentage of people saying to their friends, yeah, I've got the new latest and greatest. This is better than what you've got, buddy. You should get one. Join the crowd, join us. And what that's gonna mean is critical mass in China. Now, most predictions for next year are 6 million electric car sales in China alone. That's 10% of the entire world auto market, or nearly 10%. That's insane. So with China's purchase subsidies for electric cars set to decrease in 2022, some brands are seeing an insane resurgence of even show cars being purchased at their stores. People are basically saying, just give me whatever you've got. I'll take it. Now, in 2022, China's purchase subsidies for electric vehicles go down by 30% from the 2021 subsidies. So many consumers are locking in deals early if they can, which has driven recent electric car sales in the market to astronomical levels. Could be even up to 40%. Now at a store in Beijing's, one of their districts in Beijing, there was only one show car in the large showroom, the CCTV report said, adding that three of the original four show cars in the store were sold on the first day of the month and have not been restocked because they don't have any stock to restock them with. Now, the salesperson said they have a total of 25 models and specifications on sale, 21 of which are able to enjoy state subsidies of around RMB 18,000. Now, there's an ex-punk store which opened in early June. It's a flagship experience center. The store is about 500 square meters in size and its interior design is completely different from the previous ex-punk stores. The company said the design was inspired by an influential Chinese philosopher who lived around the 4th century BC during the Warring States period. This is a very young, trendy and fashionable part of Beijing. So we've adopted a design style that's full of fashion and technology, which is an area of interest to the young user group today. Xpeng co-founder and senior vice president said at the store's opening on June 5. Now, China's Ministry of Finance released a plan on April 23rd, 2020, that the country's subsidies for new energy vehicles would be scaled back each year. Now, within the last 48 hours, an announcement from four departments, including the Ministry of Finance, said that the subsidies for new energy vehicles Purchases in 2022 will be slashed by 30% from 2021. So these reports are coming in from different sources saying that companies such as BYD, particularly BYD, in fact, BYD have a big challenge this month in December because their factory in one of the largest factories that BYD has has been shut down due to a coronavirus outbreak. So I'm not quite sure what's going to happen there for BYD. 
But that said, their orders are coming in thick and fast. Apparently BYD has about 200,000 pre-orders now. x apparently they've basically sold every single car they have. Same is happening for companies like Neo, Leap Motor, Hoson, even Geely can't make enough electric cars either. So it's gonna be really interesting to see what electric car sales actually are officially in December of this month, but I predict we'll see a new all-time record. I predict that electric cars will probably hit 30% of all cars sold in China in December and I actually predict that the numbers for next year will be higher than anyone thinks. My prediction is six and a half million electric cars will be sold in China next year, and probably two million plus electric cars will be exported from China next year as well. Thanks for watching the channel, and I'll see you again on the next one. Bye-bye.